Now, thousands of XL bully owners have been told they won't have to put their dogs down when the ban on the breed comes into force next year. 4,000 people have applied to be exempt from the new law, which will make it a criminal offence to own an XL in England from February. The majority of the applications have reportedly been approved, despite the breed being responsible for half of fatal dog attacks in the UK since 2021. The ban will be phased in uh, by the next month. Uh, the dogs will no longer be allowed in public places unless they are muzzled and put on a lead. At least 246 of the dogs are set to be put down under the new rules. Uh, this is a mess. Mm. This is a mess. There's one thing about dog breed. You can ban XL bully dogs and uh, experts in breeding will tweak with the DNA and before you know where you are, you have a very similar dog uh, that is not technically an XL bully dog and it's exempt from the law. Yeah. That's what will happen. It happens in the world of drugs as well. Uh, also, uh, you know, I, I, I really don't like the idea of the government offering people money to put their dogs down, their pets down. Mm. Don't like that at all. Uh, these, that said, these dogs can be dangerous uh, and they cannot be dangerous. Uh, sometimes it's not true to say they're always dangerous. Come on. But, they're, but they are a problem. Uh, but I don't like the idea of exterminating animals. He but Kevin, I... what is the reason to own these dogs? I think the clue is in the name. XL bully dogs. These are bully dogs oh, who sorry. are kept for status symbols. They are aggressive, threatening dogs. Did you see that recent footage of the um, the Stratford train station yes. with the woman yeah, desperately that, yeah. trying to... I think, um, I think we've got the clip. The woman desperately trying to control these two out of control XL bully dogs. Um, I mean, a child in a pram on that station, on that platform. If you, if you, danger, but this isn't going to work. This no, I mean, this but you see, work. here's here's the other issue though, which is I don't want to see animals put down unnecessarily. And like you, Kev, I, I would take the view that you know this is this is a poor policy, poorly executed. Rubbish, because yeah. the other thing is that the XL bully, yes, that's the dog du jour of, of yeah, aggressiveness, but there are plenty of others. So, in fact, what you have to do is either you need to ban a whole load of dogs and say it's simply not acceptable to have these in society and somehow we breathe them out God knows how. Alternatively, you have to completely put it on the owner and the owners and have far better policing of this, well, this to make this, sure this, that this any dog that's getting out of control, gone, you're done. This highlights the incompetence of the, gov the government policy because we don't even know how many there are in this country. So we're saying that the majority of the 4,000 applications have been approved. How many XL bully dogs exist in the I UK? Read, I read under specific... that there are 50,000. Well, but, but this is the point. And yes, you're Most right. Owners people are not going to register them. People can just them tweak the they're breeds not, and they're not going to register them. At the end of the day, anything to do with, with, with an animal should always come down to the owner because you cannot regulate animals. You can regulate the people that own these animals. If someone's XL bully dog is going crazy, like what we just saw, the clip we just saw in Stratford Station, that person should be in prison. I'm sorry, and I don't prison. share... I, yes, I don't share the sentiment that, oh, but, it, you know, we, I don't like putting down... Because these the dogs, dogs are monsters. The control, these dogs are monsters, and it's not their fault. They're you know what's going to happen? The as, for status symbols, it's the owners that should be in prison. Well, these I'm dogs sorry, will be kept inside. Fast, no, it's not going to be far. Look at this. Look at these, look at these monstrous dogs and how they're attacking people. And they can't help it because that's in their nature. That's fine. It's, the uh, owner should take responsibility uh, uh, so, for that. I mean, you know, I don't think any of us are great sort of animal behaviorist experts, but I have listened and interviewed to a, a number of uh, behavioral experts who have all said that they have been very anti-banning breeds in the past because they have all believed that, that you know, it's the owner's responsibility. However, most of them that I've heard have now said that with this breed, they make an exception because this breed really has very, very few, if any, upsides. And they have yes. been bred to be killers. Yes, they they're, have. They're not and like other dogs, that ha like Dobermans, Rottweilers, that happen. But the amount of exceptions happen. means that the law is... Yes, the law. Toothless. The law is idiotic. And, and so, and so, this is the problem that it hasn't been thought yeah. through. The unintended consequence yeah. of this is twofold. First of all, that we have a whole load of these dogs, and there's no way of actually putting that responsibility as you would like, and probably I would like to put it on the owner. And the second point is, how do we try and ensure that there are certain dogs which? You know, if you own them, and, and if they are owned, then there has to be some kind of, whether it's insurance or otherwise, that you have to have, and if not, then you are either... So prosecuted bring back the licence. By the way, by the way so the terms of this law are you, you have to... Uh, if it's a male dog, you have to get it <coughs> castrated so they can't breed. They always have to have uh, muzzles on. I, I kind of approve of that. And they'd be on leads. 
so those are the terms, uh, and or you can get a few grand or a few quid to put your dog down. I hope nobody takes that option. Uh, but uh, the truth is that the vast majority of the owners of these dogs will not pay any attention to this at all and will just carry on having these dogs yep. and nothing will happen. And, this is and they will kill children. Impossible to, to, to police this. Until we put them in prison.